I am his animations and I'm back with tutorial. All right, RGB pixel shader. A lot of people overcomplicate them and I don't know why. There's only three sections to the node. It's the pixel resizer, the image snapper, and the multiplier. You can only you, you can do it with only 17 nodes. It's semi-procedural, which means you need uh, image for the pixels, but that's fine because that's a lot more customizable and it's a lot easier. All right, delete everything, get an image. I have a cute cat picture. Hi cat. All right, open up the shader editor. Uh, delete all these, we don't need that. Open up the pixel image here. Get a texture coordinate, get a mapping node, plug the UV into the vector, and the vector into the vector. Get a combine XYZ, plug that here, that's fine. Plug the UV into here, get a separate XYZ, then get a combine XYZ. We need four math nodes, two snaps, and two divides. Plug the Y into the Y, drop the snap on the X and the other snap on the Y and the divides we can move over here. Put one into the first values, get two value nodes. This is where you're gonna enter the resolution. So plug that here and plug that here. Resolution of the image is, I forgot, it is 469. 469 by 532. Plug the divide into the first snap and the second divide into the second snap. Put the value into the X, put the value into the Y, set this to repeat, set the image you're using to closest. So it looks like that and it looks like that. If we zoom in, you can see pixels. Get a vector math node, put that to multiply, and then connect it. And there we go, you have an RGB pixel shader. Get an emission node, put this to like 3.625, I don't know, I think that suits it well, and it looks exactly like it did before. Only this time, if we zoom in, you can see RGB pixels. It's that easy. You can use any pixel image that you want. You can use this, and it looks like... <laughs> the Larry... Oh, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Larry the Cucumber <laughs> makes... <laughs> it's really funny. Sorry. Now, if you want to add a little extra flair into the image, get an add shader, and get a principled BSDF. Set this to a dark color. I recommend black, but, you know, you can change it to whatever you want. And this is what's going to give us glare off the screen. Look at that, you get glare, and also shader. Cube of pure light, and then crank it up. It looks like that, you get glare. One more thing before I leave, if you want to be able to dynamically change the resolution with one slider, here's how you do that. Get a divide node, divide the Y resolution with the X, that's 532 divided by 469. Get a value and a multiply, set this to multiply, set this to here, here. This is the Y, this is the X, so Y and then X, and same for up here. Delete this. We can now dynamically change, re change resolution while keeping the aspect ratio. It's as easy as that. That's all there is. All right, bye guys.